we're driving. You're watching punkvideosrock.com. What's up, guys? Robert Herrera here with punkvideosrock.com. We're hanging out in the bus with Drive A. How's it going, guys? Good. Just hanging out, getting back on tour. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. Do you guys mind introducing yourselves and what you guys, uh, your role in the band, actually? Yeah, I'm Bruno. I sing and uh, play guitar. I'm Jason. I play guitar. Okay, so for those that haven't heard of you guys yet, uh, could you give us a brief uh, information about the band? Uh, we started about four years ago. Uh, both of us started. Uh, we're the, the original members, and uh, yeah, we uh, we knew we wanted to start a band that that really didn't um, pay attention to what was going around going mm. around musically. Not not to say that we we didn't know what was going on, but mm. we're not really. I think I think uh, there was a certain honesty missing in music right now. You know, uh, one that uh, you go on stage and you play to tapes and other recordings of yourself doing it and you kind of mimic and I think that's that's something that uh, we wanted to stay away from altogether and okay. actually play instruments and actually write our own songs and I think that's a rarity these days because it's become more of a business than it is uh, than a it creative is actual, thing so yeah. we wanted to start a band that was uh, more about being creative and uh, playing the stuff that we like okay cool you guys are currently right now on the revolt tour it's the Hollywood Undead headlining tour, and uh, yeah, we we were lucky to be a part of it. And um, yeah, we uh, it started the beginning of April. Mm -hmm. We did the first two weeks, then we had to leave and we had to deal with some band member stuff. Yeah. And, uh, as you can still hear, I lost my voice completely in uh, Florida. It's, it's just now Getting back better, enough yeah. so I can go scream at a few kids here and there <laughs> so what are you doing in the meantime to you know to make your voice better or so it doesn't well, I, didn't, worse? I mean just resting a lot really because we know yeah, he, he wasn't able to talk for a couple he had to like just stop talking yeah uh, for a couple of days and it's not very fun i don't recommend that <laughs> but uh yeah no talking a lot of like tea i know that's really punk rock <laughs> drinking tea you know <laughs> but yeah you know and uh i don't know just just resting i think i think your you know your voice is part of your body so naturally like you tour as much as we do and naturally that wears on you and yeah. we got to the point where like oh god i can't do it anymore my, my voice was the uh, it showed first yeah. you know no and then just like we were talking about earlier you guys have been non-stop uh on the road yeah for the past uh two years i believe yeah it's, no, it's been it's been great i mean spreading them spreading the word about the music is great mm -hmm. it's what it's all about How's it been for you guys as far as getting comfortable being on the road? You know, it, it's it's like second nature to us because it's really this is like this is our home. Like mm -hmm. we're sitting in our home right now. I mean, we have you know apartments at home, yeah, whatever. But like, it's second nature, and this is what I, I what this is what I feel I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And you have to get used to you know not showering ever. Yeah, and, and you know kind of. There's a lot of sac sacrifices you oh, guys exactly, have to make yeah, all the time. You don't see your friends or family, but I love it though. It's music is is what you know like makes me want to wake up in the morning yeah is this something you guys always uh were wanting to pursue or what would you guys be doing if it wasn't for music yeah i mean i think i think uh you know we're still young so we uh when we started out we were really young and we mm -hmm. we always just knew like just extremely passionate and creative people and that's what it takes to really you know stay in a band and become successful you Definitely. know even uh, like no matter what band it is if if they are doing it for money and they they may get big for a year or two mm -hmm. but really if it's not passion and they're just doing what's cool they're gonna it's gonna wear gonna out fade, you know yeah. you guys just recently released earlier this month uh your new album uh the world in shambles um could you let us know about the record yeah uh we recorded it over the summer and we did it all live like just completely live you know no no going back and you know doing overdubs and guitars mm -hmm. everything was live everything was pretty raw yeah i mean that's that's how we wanted to make a record that sounded like us as a band live mm -hmm. you know that energy and that and, and and everything in that and you can really hear it on the records i mean it, it was it was a blast making it took you know three weeks and yeah just blew it out did the, these two years of uh the touring did it help a lot um to do different things from your previous record yeah definitely i mean that's what made us al allowed us to uh, be able to play live like, mm -hmm. and record it and not be like taken as a complete joke. Yeah. So you know, two years of that, and also uh, let's say just uh, growing as people. Two years on tour, you learn so much about yourself from being in a small space with eight of your friends yeah. for two years. You learn a lot and uh, about life. So the lyrics grew from there. The music grew from there. It made it, it made us become better songwriters just being on the road for so long. And yeah. I, I mean. That's how you got to do it, really. How did, how did you guys find that time to actually record and do all that while you guys are on the road? Um, 
really we uh we were on the bamboozle road show last summer and uh we got to the point where we're like all right well we're gonna go in the studio after this mm-hmm. we're like we have an off day we're in albuquerque there's no, we don't know anyone here <laughs> it's nothing to do. let's take the gear out of the trailer bring it in the bus and uh-huh. let's play let's write some songs we, we, nice. we literally we had did. we had the drums and the amps set up on the front end of the bus oh, really? like everything f- plugged in full blast just like jamming. and literally literally record it on your phone i have demos <laughs> recorded on my phone that became uh, one of them was the demo for a song called Salvation on the new record. Revolt, the main riff, was yeah. written up right there. Out here. So, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, we're lucky enough to uh, get a bus while we're touring, so we yeah. took full advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. You're not wasting any time either. Yeah. So, aside from the new record, you guys also came out with a new look. Um, what was your reason for changing uh, the way you guys... Well, um, it, was, it got to the point where uh, we were being like... We love punk rock, you know, like that's that's how we grew up on. But we're we're being like kind of classified as like we felt like creatively if we did anything different, our fans would be like fuck you. And we're like you know what? Before we start, keep spreading the word of our band. Let's kind of make the slate clean, you know, mm-hmm. and be our own bands. Um, we we, you know, we, we go on stage wearing you know punk rock band shirts or whatever, and people are like you aren't punk. You know, people people always fight over that. We don't really, we don't want to be in the middle of that. We just want to be a band. We want we just want, yeah. I think I think Who cares what we are. People thought way over overthought like what we are thinking about because we are just like I you know like I'm not, I usually wear a Ramon shirt, Sex mm-hmm. Pistols shirts. Like that's just I love those bands. I just wear those shirts. Yeah. I don't really think about it that much. But, you know, like, I don't really want to be the Ramones. I don't want to be the Sex Pistols, you know. But when we'd go on stage, it was taken as, oh, they're just they're trying, trying to, to like do that. that. <laughs> and we weren't at all. And uh, we wanted to, uh, that's why we uh, we started wearing uh, these the matching jackets. Mm-hmm. And I've always been a fan of, like, the hives and, like, yeah. my chemical and romance. Have, like, you know, uniforms and, and a look. I think, I mean, that's, that's right. cool. It, it kind of helps the fans because people show up to the shows wearing that kind of stuff, too. It's yeah, really cool. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, it's not really, it's not... A marketing thing or any no, bullshit no, 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 like that. I don't. I don't want people to read into it. It's like we wanted to make uh, an album, and then we from that there was a song called "Let's Have a Wreck," mm-hmm. and there's a lyric that has kind of a concept character called the Marked Man. He's on the cover of our album, and it's like a story of like someone who dwells on their problems so much that um, you eventually create a target on your back. Mm-hmm. It, um, Man, most of the people that are gonna worry about what T-shirts we're wearing yeah. are the March Man. <laughs> so we wanted to <laughs> kind of point that out and open their eyes, you know, and kind of be like, you know, there are bigger problems in the world. And we put that, and we have one patch, then we have a, a patch for Anarchy Flag, which to us isn't isn't uh, necessarily like fuck government. Mm-hmm. It's uh, fuck oppression, and uh, you learn like especially what we're going through is like, you know, being on tour for so long. You find people, uh, you know, that are with you in the beginning, and then you find out if they're really your friends or if they're, they're gonna stick around. Or they're fake, or if they have hidden, yeah. hidden agendas. And it was kind of like the anarchy flag to us is like, fuck the fake people, you know, fuck people that are trying to hold you down, fuck exactly. oppression. That's that's the anarchy flag to us, and I think it's a new thing that that's like really the message of our band. So you guys don't. It's not like you guys are considering yourself a political band. Then it's just not really. A different you know, I wouldn't. Be, we're not trying to be, you know, anarchists either. You know. I mean, obviously it's the anarchy flag, but really, I mean, to put the to anarchy symbol meaning. with a flag doesn't really make sense if yeah. you want to get into it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a whole new, it's a new thing. It's a new thing going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your current single right now is Revolt. Yeah. Uh, what is the song about? Could you let us know a little bit about it? Um, that song was inspired by, uh, I went over to Europe over the summer, um, and I kind of just like... See, now this kind of makes us sound political, but it's really not. <laughs> I went over to Europe, and I kind of was like, you know, people over there have more of a community, and uh, people over here, I think, are a little more divided and, like, a little more selfish. And so I was in the, uh, you know, it deals with that kind of thing, and then um, taking, it's a real take action song, and, mm. uh, you know, there's a lyric, like, it's take action, but then there's also kind of like a self-doubt. Like, there's a, there's a lyric that says... Um, do we make a difference? We'll never know. You know, it's like, it's kind of dealing with that stuff. And then also, but bottom line is, you know, fuck your doubts. Yeah. Go after what you want to do. You currently had a line change during tour. Yeah. A lineup change. Uh, what was, you guys lost a member? Uh, yeah, we uh, we parted ways with our drummer. Um, we haven't really announced it officially, so mm. this is the first time. The first time, yeah. You know, I mean, I think uh, bottom line is you, 
you like touring, you like being part of a, a band or this band, you mm-hmm. know, it's different. It's hard to tell. Like, it's, you know, there's so many things that go on with the chemistry of, a, you know, a group of people. Yeah. And it wasn't working, and it was mutual. It wasn't working, so... We have part of ways, and we have a new drummer who learned songs four days ago, and is wow. super stoked to be on tour. And uh, his first show is with us at the Wiltern, so nice. It's be interesting. Tonight. Tonight is his first show. We're very excited. <laughs> yeah. How did you guys find someone so quick and while on tour? Um, I mean, we've just met so many people on tour that we, uh, you know, we sent a few emails out saying we were looking for a drummer. We didn't even say what band we were mm-hmm. in, and then uh, some people responded, came in, they were like, and then um, like knew the songs, and we're like, all right. That's we cool. leave for tour in a week. Can you yeah. come? How are you doing? <laughs> so they, they, we walked. They walked in and we said, "Hey, we have a tour this time. This time, can you do this? Okay, you pass the first stage. Now play the songs." Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah. You guys, after this tour, you guys have a couple festivals lined up. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We're uh, we're doing we're Rock on the Range, Rock on the Range Canada. Canada. I think we're doing uh, a festival in San Diego. I don't know if we've announced it officially yet. We're doing Sunset Sessions. Uh, I think that I don't know. If, I'm not even sure if that's public. Festival, no, I have but, no clue. Uh, <laughs> um, um, yeah, there's yeah, a few radio shows, and then we're we're working on on a tour for the summer. Okay. So we can't say anything about it yet, but we are working for a tour this summer as well. Any possibilities of a Warp Tour, maybe? Uh, not this year, but. Yeah. Um, I think I think for us Warp Tour, if we did Warp Tour, it'd be, we'd be so dead after <laughs> like after the touring we've done. You know, we're gonna we're gonna definitely take a few weeks off yeah. to sleep. How are, how are you guys doing it though? Like just like we said earlier, it's been nonstop for you guys. So how are you guys still pushing? Uh, you gotta love it. We're young. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. First you gotta love it, and then you gotta be young too. I mean, we you know we're not gonna die. Yeah, you, don't even, you don't even have to be young. <laughs> Fuck that. If you love something, man. If you yeah. love music. And you feel like inside of you, you want to spread the honesty and the connection that mm. something like I have or you have with with music. It takes over, you yeah. know, and it makes sense. It's like doesn't to go on tour and leave everything you know is like it doesn't seem like oh I don't get that. It's just like yeah. well, it's for music that is you know so important. Yeah, to there me. are a lot of sacrifices we make for music, but it is because we love it. We're here because we love music, not because we're trying to sell anything to people. And I don't, I don't even think we think of it as sacrifices, really. Mm-hmm. We say we do, but we don't. It's really. just the way of life for you guys. Yeah. Cool. Do you guys have any last words you want to give out to the fans and the viewers? Um, you know, go check us out facebook.com slash drive a. Follow us at drive a band. Um, and if you uh, see us at a show, come say hi. We talk to everyone. We hang out. We love to talk and meet new people. I mean, fucking, we're cool. Yeah.